from Balloon Utopia Market with Balloons. Today I'm going to show you how to make a nautical themed Americana column. This column is for somebody who's going off to join the Navy and uh, we were hired to help decorate to give them a big send off. So I'm going to show you how to make this column today. Um, here you can see that we have our base plate and pole and I have other videos that teach you how to make this base plate and pole so I'm not going to go into that. And what we're going to start with, um, I need my assistant here. Sky, can you please give me? Okay. Um, what we're going to start with is we start with our bottom balloons, which uh, these ones, we're, we're going to kind of go in sizes, um, layering up to give it a little bit of a shaped effect. So these balloons here are um, uh, probably about 10 inches or so. Okay, so we're just going to put those on. Now I'm doing another layer of the dark blue, and these ones are uh, oh, probably about eight inches, I would guess. Okay, I'm going to put that right on top, and now I need white. So we're going to put the white on top, right here. Okay, and then we got one more layer of white balloons going on. Now, to make this particular design, to make this particular design, we're actually going to do it a little bit different because we're going to now do the top and then we're going to fill in the middle. So um, here we go. We're going to put our large quad on the top. So essentially, we're just mirroring, mirroring on the top exactly what we did on the bottom. Okay, so there we go. And sorry I keep going off frame here, but... Uh, you guys get the idea. All right, and there's my blue. It's okay that it's a little bit loose. Um, all of this will tighten up as I add the accent pieces. Okay, here's my white. And for this particular piece, I'm missing, mixing a few different brands of balloons uh, because there's different shades and different things that I need it that are made by different companies. So we've got some Qualitex, we've got some Metallic, and I believe that uh, we have even some Anagram here. So we're really uh, kind of doing a international balloons here, I guess. All right, so now once we've got this far, now what we're going to do is we're going to spiral up the center. I've also made a video on this, so I know you guys have seen this before. So we'll just do this real quick. I'm not going to explain it too much. But essentially, you see that I'm putting this into two sets of two, like this. And then I'm quadding those up. And I'm going to just insert them down here under the last row of balloons. And I'm going to kind of tuck the balloons into the, the quad that's on top. OK, then I'm going to take two of the balloons and I'm going to spiral them by hand, just like that, and put it through so that it stays stable. And then, let's see, I need a 260 scrap here, so excuse me while I go off camera and get my 260. All right, so now what we're gonna do is follow the lines of your spiral. We're gonna go around the top of the column, and then when we get here, I take my 260, and I'm just going to tie it. So sometimes I'll put these balloons up inside of here, but for this particular design, I'm actually going to need this string later, so that's why I want it. Okay, and then we're going up here like this. Same thing. Oops. Sometimes you might want to give your balloons a little bit of a stretch first before wrapping them around, so that way you get a little bit more length out of them. Okay, and then the fourth one. Okay, so now our column base is done. Now, you might wonder why I'm doing this when once I put the other balloons on, you're not even seeing this part from the, from the uh, front. But unless I know with absolute certainty that it's only going to be a one-sided design, that is, that nobody's going to be seeing the other side. I always want to make sure that both sides look nice. All right, now I'm going to take my anchor. And basically for this, we built 
an anchor frame out of aluminum rod. Um, framing would probably be another video, so I'm not going to go into it too much. But we built an anchor frame out of aluminum rod. And we are, and I'm just going to kind of stick it on to the, uh, the column using the 260 that I had placed there earlier. Okay, and I lost my other side of the 260 somehow. Sorry for all the squeaking. I don't know how that got lost in there. Um, but I have a piece of gold balloon here, so I'll use this piece of the gold balloon to further anchor it. <laughs> to further anchor the anchor. No pun intended. Okay. So now, you see for now I have this part still loose. I will a little bit later tie this part in, but not quite yet. So now I'm gonna take my linky stars And I do want to just kind of tie that, tach, tach that back, but this tab here, but I'm not gonna do that till the end because I don't know where this is gonna end up. So I don't know if it's gonna be front or back. So I do want one star like this, and I'm actually hooking this to, this, to the 260 that I secured the anchor with. So you see these linky stars, they kind of have like these little hooks. So I'm hooking that one there. And now I'm gonna take my other one and I'm going to hook this one in there as well, like so. And I am going to kind of link them just for fun. And then you see I'm linking them in the back too. And this is where, this is where I'm going to end up tying them in, is where they link there. And then I'm going to kind of pressure fit them towards the front here. And it's okay if they're not the same, that's all right. It's okay if they're a little bit different. All right, so now I gotta get my other 260 here. You see, I'm just tying it in there. Let me get around the back here. And I may or may not speed this up in editing. You know how I am. We'll see. All right, so let me put this link down in there. Ah, there we go. Put this link in there too, like that. Good. All right, and now let me get my little sticky tabbies here. And I'm going to put down the tail uh, so that it goes towards the back. All right, one there. And one there, okay. Now, and this one I may actually just put a little string here to give it something to anchor into since it's kind of flapping a little bit. So I'm gonna take a, take a, a gold 160. And just make a little loop there to tie the link into so it will stay. I could, I could uh, glue it, I could use a glue dot to do it. But the reason that I'm using a string instead is because this is going to be moved by the by the guest, uh, by the um, by the client, and so I don't want. I want to make it, you know, so that nothing's going to rip or pop or anything like that. So that's why I'm using tying instead of instead of gluing. Okay, so one more thing, and that is the chain, um, and then also putting the top. I'm going to teach you how to make the chain in a separate video, um, but you see here what I have is a chain weave, and we'll attach that onto here. So. Let me just do this. And all, uh, all these little hangy bits will be cut off afterwards. I don't want to take the time to do that right this second. Okay, 
And now I need one more 260 to put the top of it on and then we'll put the chain on. Thank you. Sounds like somebody's phone is ringing there. Ooh, it's hot today. <laughs> All right, so now we take this and just bring it down here. You see that I'm taking the two sides of the 260 and I'm kind of crisscrossing them around. That gives it a lot more stability and puts the tension pulling from two sides. Okay. So we have this, like that. All right, and now, now we need to attach the chain. So here's the chain, all right? So I'm simply going to put it here, like this, twist it on, and, sorry, my back to you here. Twist it like this. And like this, I'm putting a couple of pinch twists in it just to finish it off, make it look nice. And then these two here, what I'm gonna need to do actually is I'm gonna tie them off. And normally I have scissors attached to me, but not today. <laughs> so again, I'll come back and trim those. And then I'm just gonna bring this kind of over and around. And then I'm gonna come back in the back and I'm tying it to the, to the string in the back. So it has kind of a nice finish point. All right, so like I said, I'm going to make another video on how to make the, the chain link itself because that in and of itself is, you know, it, it, it takes a little while and I don't want the videos to be too long. So there you have a fun nautical themed Americana. And you see the ceilings here are a little bit low, so I can't quite straighten this up. Um, once we bring it inside, then we can straighten it and fix all of that. So, thanks for joining me, and uh, remember to subscribe and tune in for my weekly videos.